bit, but I'm here from vlog2watch.com with a review of the Danish Bobble watches. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Bobble is the name of this uh, Danish design company that was established in Copenhagen in 2013. The name, I'm told, comes from a uh, uh, Persian world, uh, word that means uh, nightingale, so that's basically the inspiration. What Bobo does is that they work together with uh, today's generation of designers to create these uh, interesting designs that are, of course, very Danish. If you if you know Danish design, you would know that um, it's it's oftentimes it's a uh, very very simplistic, very minimalistic, and yet there's some sort of a fun aspect to that to it. And uh, that's exactly the case here. You know, there's not much going on on these watches, but. Well, all the little details have been thought out and created in a way that uh, they are not at all boring. On on the very contrary, um, you can tell that you know, you know these watches just look so simple. The pebble has this thirty-seven by forty millimeter by eight millimeter thick case that's just so so simple. It it really is like a pebble. You can you, when 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 touching, you can feel all these very soft edges, and the shape is unique as well. So this is this is one of the things that I, I, I really enjoy about it is that you just you just put it on and it, it looks just so simple, so well I'm I'm not sure if that's the right word, but so honest. Uh there's really it's just a fun piece that you're wearing for your for yourself, not to show it off, not to impress others, but because you just see the fun aspect of it. Uh I think you know that this is this is a cool cool looking watch, but something that will work for people who have slimmer wrists like I do for example because even on my wrist you will see that there's a lot of space below and above the watch and that's because of the integration of the Milanese bracelet into the case and because of the case's lugless design. The uh, Milanese bracelet is coming from Germany that's where it was engineered and manufactured and that you can tell from the feel of it as well of course it's printed on it but you can tell that it's just a high, higher quality bracelet that's not pulling on your hair too uh, well, not too much, not at all actually, and it just gives you like a, a very secure feel. So this is the pebble. It has uh, a Swiss quartz movement in there with uh, ten years of uh, approximate battery life, and the same goes for the uh, facet line of watches. Both the pebble and the facet uh, collections comprise six different models. And f from the facet collection, I have two here that look just a little bit more uh, feminine, especially on these on these straps. So if you look at these, this uh, rose gold kind of color and this one on this cr uh, cream strap it just looks so feminine. But the ladies in my family just love these. Um, if I'm honest, I, I wanted to see something for the ladies from Bobo because uh, I could see the potential. And uh, as it turns out, I was right because uh, you know they were thrilled, and everyone uh, you know uh, that I've I've shown these watches have really liked the design. I'm just telling that to you because if you're considering buying uh, like a watch for your for your loved ones or whoever, um, these are you know really worthy of consideration because uh, the feel is good, the quality is good, so you're not buying something that feels like a cheap fashion watch, and I think that's a really good combination because. If you if you have something that looks so simple, uh, details you know play a, a much greater role. If something has tons of pushers and sub labels and patterns and and different materials, you know little mistakes do get lost. But here, when there's so little going on, you you, you kind of can tell very easily if something is just not right, if a fit is not done properly, if, if a screw is missing or whatever. But here, I you know I'm really satisfied with the with the uh, and placed with the with the quality of these watches. Of course that means that they come at a price point that's a little bit higher than your average fashion watch. The price for the facade is 295 euros and for the pebble it ranges between uh, 350 and 375 euros. So that's not exactly cheap for something that's uh, arguably design inspired but I would still rather call these watches design watches than uh, fashion watches and you can tell that these appear to be a little bit more of a lasting design that will look good years uh, from now as opposed to something that's all flashy and just uh, you know not trendy from like half a year from now. So I think that these watches look really cool you can change the straps easily and they're selling a bunch of different strap designs that goes really nicely into this uh, perfectly uh, run case. 
One thing to note here is that on these watches you have to use um, a screwdriver to get these uh, straps out. So, so they don't have those uh, push pins that you would uh, use uh, like on an ordinary watch, but you need a screwdriver. And I didn't receive a screwdriver uh, that, that goes in here from the brand, but actually I did have one laying around that I was using to take the screws out from my um, old iPhone 4. So the interesting thing is that these used the exact same size and uh, had design as those. So if you have one of those, you can use that. Anyhow, um, you know what, what what is left to be said is that these are really nice looking watches that I that I found to be of uh, of high quality that justifies the uh, the somewhat higher price that you are uh, paying for when compared to an ordinary fashion watch. So this was a review of uh, Bobo watches from Denmark, and you can see the full review on the blog thewatch.com soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.